G'day everybody, welcome back to another drum lesson. This time it's Arabella by Arctic Monkeys. Drums come in straight away at the beginning of the song and we have a nice simple groove that goes like this. At the end of the verse, before we go into the next section, there's one extra kick drum at the end of the bar. Let's call the next section the pre-chorus, and this is where we have those hits up onto the crash cymbal, and we're keeping time with eighth notes on the left foot. If you haven't done that before, it might be a little bit weird, but it's definitely worth practicing, because it just helps you keep in time, and it gives you a good reference point when you're doing other stuff around the kit. I'll play through the first four bars. And here's the next four bars of the pre-chorus. So as I said, if you haven't done that left foot hi-hat stuff before, there are a few challenges in there, just lining up the notes, but if you take it really slowly, eventually it will come together and that's really going to strengthen your independence with the left foot. Moving on, we're up on the crash cymbal and we're in basically the chorus now, and once again, it's not too tricky a groove, so I'll break it down for you now. And then carrying on this section, we're just going to add a few more kick drums to the groove. From the end of that section, we go back into the stripped back groove from the beginning of the song. And then right as the lyrics come in, we have this great fill that follows along with the words. From there, just use the same verse groove, exactly the same as we did the first time around. When we hit the pre-chorus, it's changed just a little bit. Instead of snare crash, I can hear crash crash. So it's going to go a little something like this.
Just that last fill one more time. If that feels giving you problems, take it slow and try and line the toms up with the hi-hats so you get those rhythms exact in that bar. Moving on, we've got four more bars, so I'll play them now. My biggest tip for those triplet fills is to play it right, right, left, right, left, right, right, left, right, left. That way you're leading with the right hand and it makes it a lot easier to move down the kit. Here's the very last two bars of this section, nice and easy. Once again, that takes us into a chorus and it's very much the same as the last time we played it. Here we go. So those fills are identical both times, so that makes it nice and easy. And as I said, it's the same groove as we played in the first chorus. Moving on, as we add more kicks, this time we add even more kicks. There's an extra one on the end every now and again. So again, because we played that the first time around, there's not too much extra to work on, but I find it interesting that there's a few extra kick drums. It's like we're building the drum part a little bit towards the end of the song. Okay, now we're up to the bridge. We're gonna have snare drums, four to the bar, and a little kick pattern that goes like this. Again, if that's a coordination challenge, slow it right back, and this time try and line up the kick drums with the hi-hats. Work out if they fall with the hi-hats or in the gaps. I think that's the best way to work out these kinds of patterns. Moving on, there's a tiny little fill at the end of the fourth bar. Keep playing through that same groove, and then to finish the bridge, we've got this great fill, which includes a little 2-4 bar, which kind of turns things around a little bit just before we get to the guitar solo. Hopefully that's clear enough because it's definitely one of the best fills in the song. Moving on, we're at the guitar solo and we're going to use pretty much the same groove as our chorus. Now here's the final four and a bit bars, once again just using that chorus groove with a little bit of variations on the kick, and then we're done.
And that is the end of Arabella by Arctic Monkeys. It's a great song to learn because the arrangement is nice and clear. You know exactly where the sections are. Some of the beats are really easy, but there's just enough fills in there to throw a couple of challenges your way. Have fun practicing that one, everybody, and I'll see you at the next lesson.